Ah, last week feels like a dream. We got to hang out in New York where Jared Capslap played a couple of shows. I got to see my bestie, who y'all know at this point by now. And we got to dance like we didn't have a care in the world. I even got to go shopping. First, I stopped at here nor there. I got this cow print top and this silky little number. Great for summer. Then I stopped at Spark Pretty, which is your total 90s Y2K vibe. I ended up getting this fuzzy bag for 30 bucks, which I thought was pretty good. Then I went to East Village Thrift, which I do not recommend. I only found these juicy shoes, which I thought were funny, but I didn't get them. So I went over to Buffalo Exchange and coming from LA, I gotta say New York has way better options. I really wanted these bell bottoms, but they did not fit. I'm a millennial trying to figure out these baggy pants situation that you Gen Zers are wearing. I got this top and these pants, and I also got these Zara shoes for $22. Overall, super successful haul, thrilled with my choices. <sighs> but there's no rest for the wicked. Even though we relaxed and ate pizza, we had to get back to LA because... Also, just a quick little side note. Yes, I'm super sick now. I've changed the layout of the house a little bit. I'm doing things that are downstairs that are upstairs. One of these rooms might also even be in my old place just because I don't want people to be able to search it or find it or whatever. And you guys actually gave me that advice on social media. So thank you. And also please don't ever try to find me. Okay, here it is. Moving day kind of. We're on our way to our new house. <laughs> Car is packed. Why? Well, because we got a flight delayed overnight in New York City. We had to deplane twice, and I'm very tired, and I'm actually not feeling very well. You don't even have a voice. It's a whole ass thing. But we're excited because we're about to go get our keys and be home. We can't even talk. Let's just here we go. Here's moving moving day one and two. So clean. Moving day. A rug. I got that from Daisy Den, which if you don't follow her on Instagram, you might do it. But I'm so excited to give you a tour. I'm, I'm thinking I might do like a half empty house, half build house, because we moving today, but I ain't got time. So let's see it. Big open space. I love open concept. We're doing our living room here, dining, piano, some plants. And then what really made us love this place besides the security system, is that it brings this whole Harry Potter door to the table, which we're gonna put our cat stuff in. But that was a huge part of why we got this place. Then we've got this kitchen, which she's a little funky. She's a little unique, but we've got this bar top, which I love. And the biggest exciting thing about this place is the fridge. It opens up for tall people. I've had a fridge my whole freaking LA life where it just opens like this and you have to bend down. But now I have a tall person fridge and I'm so happy. <laughs> they put in this like funky pipe-ish type fixtures, which I probably will end up changing. You think this is a chore? Nope, it's our wa Ow! washing machine. Oh God, Christ, that's heavy. All right, we're gonna have to work on that. Oh my God, I just f***ed up my foot. <laughs> Doggy door already implemented. So I gotta get my fosters out to the backyard. Big old sink. Something unique is that these cabinets are so tall. This is definitely a Jared kitchen, which is nice. This is just some sort of peel and stick material, so I'm probably gonna end up changing that. You guys should definitely check out my TikToks because uh, I'm gonna be probably doing renovation TikToks on there all month. Here is the guest bathroom, AKA Jared's studio bathroom. It's fine. I'm gonna change probably everything about it. And then we go into Jared's studio, which is about twice the size of the studio we have now. Previous owners left these hooks up there. Don't quite know what it is. Um, maybe for some sort of sex dungeon swing. And Jared's biggest favorite thing is this door. Leads right up to the balcony. Don't know how to clean that, change it. Seems laborious. Got a bank ass security system, so don't even think about it. And this is what I'm so excited to show you guys is my office. I'm so excited about this closet space for swap skis. I mean, I can't even, like, we could rent this whole thing out. I'm so excited, there's so much space in here. Dun, da, da, da. Our bedroom, which honestly, giving up the amount of space we have in our bedroom now was like a big thing I decided was just something that was gonna have to happen. But honestly, this room is huge. It doesn't have the two-story ceilings, but I'm like beyond happy in here. <laughs> And of course, we have major 
closet, space, fridge, fit, everything. Got a little light, natural light, but this room is gonna be huge. And you'd think you'd wanna put the bed here, right? No, 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 no. We're gonna put it this way and mount the TV here. Make a little sitting area with my makeup and then like some drawers or something over there because if you face it this way, there's nowhere to put the TV. You'd have to put it on like a rotating arm. Like where would you put it? I know it makes more sense to put it this way, but I'm not going to, and you can't tell me otherwise. So the main bathroom is like cute. She needs a little bit of work. I mean, that's the shortest shower head I've ever seen. Like standing in here, shower head is like below my head. So <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out how to turn this bad boy up. Never had shower guards before. It looks like they tried to flip this a little bit with redoing like the floor laminate. That's like sticky tiles and they redid these, but you can tell it's like kind of old because things just kind of like aren't, you know, together and whatnot. But I like this light. I think that's a cute fixture. I've been following obviously the crazy housing market in, you know, the US through the pandemic and what's happening. And it's really been a renter's market. And so that has allowed us to afford a home. I never in a million trillion years thought I was gonna be able to buy a house in Los Angeles, but I think for what we were able to get this price for, it was like a no brainer. Just the amount of space and like having a home feels different than, you know, the last, 11 years, I've always been in an apartment or townhomes. So this feels like home. Like we have so much space. Like look at all this kitchen space. What? I moved the rug in here. I gotta really do that backsplash. Probably like white tiles or something. Here's the big backyard. So if anyone knows what kind of tree this is that they planted, I wanna say it's an olive tree, which would be very cool. I like these white stones. This looks like it used to be a fire pit. Yeah, I feel like this is an olive tree. But we also have these gorgeous flowers out here that attract a ton of bees. So does anyone know what we're supposed to do with all of these bees? Probably lots of seating and storage there. This is for a grill. This is AstroTurf, which is amazing. And then on this big wall here, I'm thinking about doing like a projector screen. And yeah, this deck is like teak and really sturdy and weatherproof. And I just, I'm obsessed with this backyard. I feel like we're gonna be back here all the time. 